All right, good morning, everyone. This is Rome with Rome Knows Tech. Today, we're going to talk about an issue that I see some people asking about or trying to find a solution with when using the Laser Pecker 4. And that is an issue with the uh, built in or magnetically connectable shroud whenever you're uh, engraving something and having to move it or to remove it after focusing or adding it after focusing. So I'm going to show you guys in the um, Laser Pecker design space app how you can do it in this same technique will also apply if you're using your Android app or your iOS app. So let's take a look at what goes on and what you know pretty much everyone is talking about. So let's pop over here to my desktop real quick. As you guys can see, the shroud is here on uh, the laser. This is magnetically connected for those that don't know. This is just you know connected with magnets. You can just pop this back on like so. Now where the issue comes in is when, it, when you focus something with the laser. So let's say you didn't have this on for a moment and you wanted to focus the laser. You know that you have to bring those two dots together in order for the laser to completely be in focus. So we're just going to use this little piece of wood here as an example. So let's say we bring our laser down until those two dots come in focus. We're almost there. Okay. So now the laser is in focus based on the distance from the laser head um, lens to the surface. Now where the problem comes in is that if you wanted to now add this shroud, it's almost impossible to get that on without moving your piece. As you guys see, I've already moved the piece just trying to get that on, right? So here's what you can do. I'm just gonna put that back here. All right, so let's go over to my desktop view so I can show you guys how to set this up. So in the app, guys, when you choose your preview, this is gonna work in the preview mode and this will work uh, with the iOS device as well as Android and of course uh, within your Mac or PC if you're running the uh, Laser Packer Design Suite as well. So this is what we're gonna work with. So here's my little character here and I wanna do a preview, so I'm just gonna click on preview. All right, so here's where you can control that uh, feature. So right now, this is set to one millimeter, okay? So that's gonna be one millimeter up, one millimeter down if you run this. What I usually do is I set this to about 20 millimeters as our working point, because that's gonna give us the ability to raise and lower the laser, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on um, the raise laser and i'm going to show you guys what that looks like so when i click on that raise button it's going to actually raise the laser as you guys see right so then it's going to go up the 20 millimeters and then when i click on lower it's going to bring it back down 20 millimeters so when it brings it back down to that 20 millimeters it's putting it right back at the same focus distance that i'd already set so now if i go back up as an example so we're going to go back up our 20 millimeters I'm gonna grab the shroud. Okay, so now the shroud is on, and then now I can go down, and my laser is in focus, okay? And that's now with the protective shroud on. And then once I'm done with my piece, and I want to maybe replace this and do it again, all I have to do is go back over here, Click on up, it's gonna go back up. I can remove this piece, put in something new, and then click down. And that's how you're gonna be able to batch your jobs, running it from either your iOS device, your Android device, or the computer itself. All right, guys, so hopefully this video this morning has been helpful to someone who's having an issue with this, or maybe you haven't even encountered this issue yet, but this video will help you be prepared so when you are doing batch jobs in this orientation, this configuration, where you have the, the laser set up in a standard uh, configuration, this is an easy way to raise and lower the laser and control it from whatever app you're using. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I will catch you guys in the next video, but until then, my lovelies, stay safe out there. Peace. I am out.